supercritical fluid chromatography has become a very powerful technique. We see that it is also replacing HPLC in several aspects. But when it comes to the instrumentation, it is almost similar to the HPLC. So in this SFC, which we refer as a supercritical fluid chromatography, whatever mixture, analyte mixture that is subjected for separation, slowly the components of the analyte, they get separated in the chromatographic column and they slowly pass through a detector where the compounds get detected. So once the compounds get detected, we get a complete picture of the analyte and the components present in the given analyte. So such a detector should have some ideal characteristics and in this video we are going to see these characteristics. The first one is it should have an adequate sensitivity. So these detectors must able to detect even about nanogram to microgram solutes per second. Detectors should have good stability and also reproducibility. So if I do the experiment for the first time or even if I do the experiment for the second, third or n number of times, whatever data that is produced, it must be the same. So reproducibility should be very high. Response towards the solutes should also be very high and it should extend over several orders of magnitude. These detectors should also withstand a particular temperature range. Depending upon the type of the chromatographic experiment, detectors must withstand a very high temperatures also. The response time towards the solute particles should be very short and this response time it should be independent of the flow rate whether the flow rate is very high or whether the flow rate is very low it must be independent of the flow rate the detector should be highly reliable and it has to be uh, very much easy to operate suppose if there is an inexperienced operator it must be foolproof even in the hands of an inexperienced operator there has to be a similarity in the response towards all types of solutes. We might have uh, different classes of solutes such as aromatic hydrocarbons could be a class, hydrocarbons, aliphatic compounds could be another class or halogenated compounds could be another class. So whatever may be the class of the compounds, the response must be similar towards all those solutes. And lastly, the most important one is sample non-destructivity. Whatever detectors that we choose, these detectors, they should not destruct the sample because whatever components that are coming out, they could be very expensive, they could be very valuable. So once they pass through the detector and if at all they get destructed, that could be a major setback for the operator. So if the detector do not destruct the sample, that is an ideal detector. But whatever detector that we choose, Every detector will not have all these characteristics since we said these are the characteristics of an ideal detector. Therefore, any operator should choose a detector in such a way that it meets most of the characters given here. For the chromatographic technique that we are discussing, supercritical fluid chromatography, there are some detectors, UV visible absorbents, fluorescence, flame based detector such as flame ionization detector and also mass spectrometric detectors can be used. The details of these detectors will be given in the next video.